Now, to deal with real loss and what we just lived together with this submarine. This is an interesting insight. Two of the victims were the Pakistani businessman and his 19-year-old son, right? Shazada and Suleiman Dawood, father-son, special bond. And last Sunday on Father's Day, they joined three other men on what was supposed to be the trip of a lifetime and it wound up being the last of their lives. Now, there are all these questions, right? They're not just among us. They are among the families of people who were on that sub. According to the father's older sister, okay, so his son's aunt, right? Suleiman was afraid, the kid. Uh, and his aunt, Asma Dawood, joins us now. I am very sorry for your loss. I'm very sorry to meet you this way. But I know it's important to you to tell the story. And what do you want people to know? I want, first of all, to thank everyone that has been there for our family throughout this horrible experience. I want to say thank you to all the people that went out there for the rescue efforts, for the time they put in, for the effort they put in, for all the people that stayed up and watched the news and worried. Thanks to those, because my brother, Shazada, and his son, Suleiman, are actually heroes. They went down there for, as you said, an adventure of a lifetime, for knowledge, for bonding, to have something special in their lives. And they just, sorry, it's just heartbreaking, but I have to say, deserve it. My brother and his son are heroes. And that's how I think they should be remembered. You will remember them for taking the chance that they did, and you recognize that they knew that they were taking a chance, that there was danger. And you say that your nephew was aware uh, that this was scary. Well, my nephew was a normal human being, a normal human being at 19 who had to go down that kind of tunnel and get into that kind of environment would obviously be scared. That's pretty normal. Um, so, yeah, he was scared, as any 19-year-old would be. What he was, what's different about him to Sean, is that he was just phenomenally trusting. He was the most kind, innocent, caring person. And he went on this in the same spirit that all the other people got on this submersible with. And he trusted everybody else because he was the youngest there. And that unfortunately was not the way things worked out because my brother Shazada also trusted Ocean Quest. He also trusted that they knew what they were doing. He also trusted the words about 35 years of safety. He also trusted they knew what they were talking about. He also trusted that they were going on something that was a viable adventure. I mean, come on. If there was any knowledge of any risk at all, he would not have put his child on there. That, that's a normal parental instinct. You know, if there is any danger, you don't expose your child to it. And my brother was a superb father. He was an excellent father. They went on this. The, the Titan went down in international waters because they knew that it was not authorized, that all the protocols had not been followed. But surely you can't blame someone for either Shilada or Suleiman 
Suleiman in, in, in Suleiman's case is dad, in Shalala's case, Ocean Quest, you can't blame people for trusting other people. You, because Ocean Quest, oh no, himself was on there. So you can't blame people for trusting what other people say to them. What we can do is, is, is blame the fact that the problems were not highlighted. What we can do is blame the fact that the employee who brought it up, that there were issues with it in 2018, was absolutely not listened to and basically kind of silenced and got rid of. This, that's what we should blame. We should blame the whole idea of a corporation just using something for its profit and covering information about safety. I mean, come on, a father and son were going on that. They should have been made aware of the safety issues that were there. For example, it has a carbon fiber body. Right. Carbon fiber, that's like putting a glass submarine down at those pressures. Surely that should have been looked at. I mean, this was the third mission. Two missions had worked. This one didn't. But even a stopped clock gives the right time twice a day. Two missions is nothing. How can commercial people, you know, commercial, it be a commercial enterprise when the checks haven't been carried out? People do this in trust. When you and I get on a plane, we do it in trust. We don't expect the Stopped pilot to come rush. out and give us a long story about it. Stockton Rush wasn't in that position, right? He was pushing the limits. That was part of the sell, uh, was that this was, uh, this was about the risk. This was about the danger. This was about pushing the frontiers. And I totally understand and appreciate your analysis, and not just because of where your heart is, but because of where your head is. Everything you're saying is reasonable. But of course, as you mentioned, and is true, Stockton Rush was on it as well. So it's hard to believe that he was selling something that he didn't believe. The question is, was it reasonable for him to believe it? And I know these questions are going to be pursued because I know we're going to keep pursuing them. And I believe that the lives that were lost deserve that as part of their legacy. It should be a legacy of the truth of the situation that took those lives. So we will say, stay on it. And Asma, I'm very sorry to meet you in this situation, but I appreciate your eloquence uh, and your emotions. And I wish the family the best uh, in using each other to get through this. Thank you so much. If I may say one thing about Suleiman, he was the most trusting, amazing teenager, unlike teenagers normally he had no attitude he had nothing but a heart of gold and even in his very untimely very early demise he brought the whole world together and that for me it's not a surprise because and of course i'm biased I'm his aunt, but I do speak not just from the heart, but from the head too, because I too have been watching every moment of media and everything that's reported. Of course. And I may have progressive multiple sclerosis, which means my central nervous system is riddled with holes and I'm perhaps, you know, neurally compromised. However, I have got a degree from the University of Oxford. I, I have got a doctorate. So I have been able to apply my mind to this as compromised as it is. And of course, my heart is engaged with this. There is no way of disengaging. But I think that the whole world would agree with me that everybody on Titan engaged everybody's hearts and minds. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com 
newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.